attack. We didn't get much done. Uh, so I bought this weed whacker off the marketplace last year. It did great, uh, and now it's having issues. Uh, we didn't get much done. Just from that end to there. I attempted over here, but it started dying and having trouble even cutting or even staying on. So I don't know what its issue is, but uh, the group of my live in did purchase a cheap Walmart special battery operated you know, one from Walmart. So uh, we're gonna go see if those batteries for it are charged. I doubt they are, but if they are, we'll see if it's up to the task of uh, cutting down this tall grass. If not, we're gonna have to break out the push mower. But at least I got all no, this cut, and the grass was pretty tall. It was a so you see that tall grass, and you see that that was cut down. That's that's as tall as it was on that side. So, uh, it's looking better. Um, I think this, uh, weed vector needs a good tune-up in order to work, you know, like it's supposed to, but, uh, I can't afford that, so, uh, we're just gonna let it cool off, and then, uh, come back to it and try again. But, uh, right now, this, uh, grass is pretty tall, so, I don't even know how old this weed whacker is, but uh, it's a nice one though. Um, it's a Re Remington, so. and it's really nice. You can tell it's in really good condition. The last owners uh, barely ever used it. They, 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 uh, you know, I can't say really upgraded, you know. Going down to a battery operated one, one in my book is downgrading, so they downgraded to a battery operated one. I hate it. Battery operated ones, they they really don't have enough horsepower to get through tall, tall thick grass. And uh, wire wise on them, you have to use the thin wire, and thin wire breaks so fast and so easily. It's like you're going through wire super fast, but. I like these gas ones, they got so much more horsepower. Uh, I just wish the, this one uh, would work for me today. Because uh, I got all of this, all of that around the edges. Head over there, that up over there, along the house. do the job, so, uh, I'll get back to you later, and, uh, let you know what, how the progress is, and, uh, hopefully we can get this knocked out. I only want to get, you know, in front of this house and window here, because I got some hostas in there, and I want to get, you know, all trimmed around, so, wish me luck. Um, hopefully we can get this thing back up and running. I don't know what its problem is, but, uh, something's wrong with it. Or maybe I'm just not ha having the settings right on it, but I'm pretty sure I got the settings right. Because it, it has the instructions of how to use it literally right on the side. And, uh, I followed the instructions thoroughly, so... And it's not clogged, I just checked, you know, down there, so I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, maybe it needs to be taken apart and uh, cleaned and put back together. I don't know, but uh, I'm not that kind of, you know, skilled guy to do that, so you know, I can easily take it apart, but putting it together the right way, uh, 
<laughs> I'm not that guy. So, uh. I don't know what it cooled down. And, uh, see what happens. I'm gonna go check his garage and see if the batteries have any charge on them. So we can, uh, fire up the battery powered one. We'll get some more stuff. You know, cut. So, uh, with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, I'll keep you updated. And, uh, yeah. And remember, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Um, and, uh, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. And I'll catch you on the next one. And stay tuned for, uh, an update on the garden. And I'll, I'll probably do that a little bit later. Because, uh, I did. Some growth popping through, um, but uh, I'll save that for the garden video later. Um, but uh, what's going on with all the grass?